Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Surgical Knowledge. In this video, we are talking about pulse sites in human body. So let's begin. What is pulse? The pulse rate is a measurement of the heart rate, or the number of times the heart beats per minute. Taking a pulse not only measures the heart rate, but also can indicate the heart rhythm. All arteries have a pulse but it is most easily felt at points where the vessel reaches the surface of the body. There are total nine plus points in the human body. Number one, temporal pulse. Number two, carotid pulse. Number three, apical pulse. Number four, brachial pulse. Number five, radial pulse. Number six, femoral pulse. Number seven, popliteal pulse. Number eight, posterior tibial pulse. Number nine, dorsalis pedis pulse. Now, we will explain one by one. Temporal pulse. This artery comes off of the external carotid artery and is found in front of the tragus and above the zygomatic arch. This pulse point is assessed during the head-to-toe assessment of the head. Carotid pulse. This site is most commonly used during CPR in an adult as a pulse check site. It is a major artery that supplies blood to the neck, face, and brain. Apical pulse. This site is assessed during the head-to-toe assessment and before the administration of digoxin. The pulse rate should be 60 BPM or greater in an adult before the administration of digoxin. Brachial pulse. This is a major artery in the upper arm that divides into the radial and ulnar artery. This site is used to measure blood pressure and as a pulse check site on an infant during CPR. Radial pulse. This is a major artery in the lower arm that comes off of the brachial artery. It provides circulation to the arm and hand. It is most commonly used as the site to count the heart rate in an adult. Femoral pulse. This is a major artery found in the groin and it provides circulation to the legs. This artery is palpated deeply in the groin below the inguinal ligament between the pubic symphysis and anterior superior iliac spine. Popliteal pulse. This artery is found behind the knee and comes off of the femoral artery. It is a rather deep artery, like the femoral. Posterior tibial pulse. This pulse point, along with the dorsal pedis, is assessed during the head-to-toe assessment and is particularly important in patients who have peripheral vascular disease or a vascular procedure. Dorsalis pedis pulse. To find this artery, locate the extensor hallucis longus tendon by having the patient extend the big toe. Then palpate down this tendon, and when you come to the end of it, go to the side of the tendon and you will find this pulse point. We hope you like our video. If you found this video to be helpful, then don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notification for our next video.